Whom do you trust more? Furthermore, which will you touch? If you notice, you have many options, yet there's a very fundamental difference between the choices you have now and the choices you had a year ago at this time. Mm. To some degree, we have not really begun to examine the impact of the sense of noticing and the sense of touch onto the culture around us as a result of the COVID pandemic. Mm. Basically, these questions underlie this project from my partner and I, where we think more deeply about why are, how are we being changed as a result of, of the COVID pandemic. Do we trust people in the same way? Do we trust surfaces? Do we trust what we can notice as being normal or not normal? Like, our project is designed to examine how to identify these questions, and secondly, how to situate them within design practice in a community setting. So to elaborate on that, Jennifer. So this is um, a design scenarios and we started thinking how trust has become this um, fundamental value that has been impacted by the pandemic. And we started thinking, well, maybe we should take trust within the community setting as this value that people should pay more attention to. So for instance, uh, this could potentially become a community currency. Um, so we're speculating and equating attention to noticing and noticing to community and trust. So we speculated that attention could possibly become community currency and we came up with this cycle that could be uh, applied to community if it was to use as a community currency where the local government, business and institution would initially uh, underwrite the community um, currency by agreeing to honor uh, it as a partial payment for goods or services within the community. So it would uh, feed into the attention repository and then it would be given to the uh, community members who actually pay attention uh, to the things happening in the community, like what to become aware of and what we should pay more attention to as a community. So that would feed into the community attention data bank, which could inform the local government business and institution. And they can also endorse whether that is relevant you know, from their, their perspective. And the cycle can go on and uh, attention could possibly become this um, currency utilized within a certain community. We um, came up with this project as a design scenario, um, which takes attention as a prescribed value um, that could uh, apply to the community in the post-corona settings. Yeah. Yeah. And just one more thing, this project will be exhibited at the World Design Capital in France in, um, in 2020 this fall. Mm -hmm. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to get a hold of either of us. And um, yeah, in general, we would love to talk about ways that attention and then noticing itself could be applied to um, I, um, well, our daily lives, but more importantly, like, yeah, as we transition out of this coronavirus experience that we've all shared, we're gonna have to really understand, well, how have we been affected by it? And then in what ways do we use that that state that we find ourselves in to learn about what is, you know, processes of noticing daily life. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you.